I can't do this. I can't do that. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Guys, hey. is this another episode of uh, Bad Tastic at Night? Uh, I think it might be. I don't know. Holy shit. Holy frick. Well, I'm Evan. I'm Zion. It's the first time we've been on the podcast together. Yeah, I, I, I like... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think last time that I talked to you, I like banished you or something, and then you turned me into a frog. That's it. I only had yeah. one one. <laughs> oh god, that fucking sucks. We uh, yeah. So we've been playing a lot of Magic recently. Yeah, we have. Um, we literally went to the card store before filming this. That's how bad it's gotten. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, that's, how, it's, that's we, we, were, we were we were we meant to film like pretty much like we we always film like as soon as we get together just so we can hang out afterwards, but we we were just like. I want to buy cards. Yeah, dude, we we like opened packs first, and then we were like, we the card store closes at ten. We gotta get there. We gotta there. go now. Yeah, we gotta we gotta we go to now if now. we get there. And then we were there, and then we opened the packs there. There was a lot to happen. I got an omniscience card. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. Really I, crazy. Good ap- card. Apparently, I already had one, and I have a foil one that's worth like oh my 30, God. 30 plus two? dollars. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't realize that the the card that I had that I was like, oh, this just looks cool because I was so, new. So could you was, put two of those in your deck? No, only, only one in Commander. But but if if it was a regular, yeah. But it's such an expensive card, it just doesn't make sense. Right. But like, um, yeah, like when I first, because it was like this is like my first Commander deck ever. I got this Omniscience card, and it's like it's a foil version of one that we saw like for like thirty bucks for the regular one. And people were like selling it at like sixty. I was like, holy shit! Like it's worth that much money. Yeah, that's crazy. But it's cool, and I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's also, so... um, I was gonna say earlier, but before we started the podcast, um, your fit reminds me of like a, a JJK character. Who, like Maki? I I feel like Maki post crash out. I will say Gojo. Gojo. Be- because if you stand Eric. up, your your pants are very like saggy, like he like jo- like Gojo yeah. looks in like the last arc. Yeah, I I don't think I could show it off on these cameras. No, no, not, no. But... They they can't handle it. Yeah, y'all That's can't handle it. I don't think they can handle that heat. Hold up. You can't handle me. <laughs> Hold up, ain't you in therapy? I said that wrong, but. <laughs> yeah, but um, you, you've been you've been uh, keeping up on JJK. Right? Oh yeah, did you did you read two sixty five? Dude, oh my. Oh my god. Holy fuck. I, I love uh I, I keep seeing these memes about it where they're like, Sukuna's just sitting there crashing out while <laughs> while Yuji's just like, yeah. So like you know I used to play video games here. Uh, I had a, I had a good meal oh one day god, at the dude. and then it's just like Sukuna's just like. Shut the fuck <laughs> up! Like, <laughs> Shut yeah. up! <laughs> so I, dude, I love where it's going, dude. Though. Yeah, I love it. Have you seen that? Um, there's like a comparison where I can't remember. Yeah, I where, can't remember exactly who. Where, would, where, where it's all the covers, right? Of all the characters. I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. Where all, all the characters. Okay. Okay. Um, light spoiler for what's happening. Yeah. In yeah. Yeah. Manga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's like, there's like, um, I'll say like vignettes of like uh, the main character. I'm yeah. forgetting his name. Are you talking about Yuji? Yeah, Yuji. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The, there's vignettes of like Yuji's like like most important parts of life, mm-hmm. and um, uh, Gege has uh, has drawn like other characters in those like scenes. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking about? I, th- I think I have heard. I think of we're this. talking about the same. Yeah, uh, I'm. T- I'm talking about. Well, let me, let me, let me what I'm talking about is. Um. So there's a comparison. It is. Uh, I can't remember the name of this fucking character, but it is like. Oh, I, it's literally like. It's like a. It's like a biblical comparison that people are making, and it's actually really fucking cool. I love that. Where it's like. It's like. The. The angels or whatever are like. I, I can't remember exactly the the exact comparison, but basically like. Yuji is like an angel or whatever, and he's like trying to guide people to like become better before they die, so they don't go to hell. And that's part of why like Sukuna is trapped in his fucking domain and seeing all these flashes of memories that are like positive for Yuji and all this shit. And like it's like flashbacks throughout like his entire life because he's like Sukuna, like look, look, you could do this, or like life can be good and you could be a good person, kind of thing. Like trying to redeem him so he doesn't go to hell before he dies. Which I, I saw, I thought was just like interesting. I don't, I don't know if that's exactly what's going on there, but I think it's kind of really cool to that. think about. I yeah, really he's like, idea. he's like, 
let me guide you so that when you die, at least your sins are like less or, or more forgiven. You know, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's the king of curses. Like he, yeah. When he dies, he's gone. He's, like, like, I mean, he is essentially Satan. Yeah, no, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, he's he's like he is like the big big man himself. So it's like okay. It's kind of crazy to think of, like... That's so interesting. Or even, like... It's just an interesting, like, way to look yeah, at it. Yeah, and even, like, if you think is. about, like, Satan's story in the Bible, even, it's just, yeah, like, Lucifer. why are you... Yeah, like, why are you being led astray? Like, look at this. Like, you could have something better or whatever. And yeah. then, you know, we all know how it turns I, out. Yeah. But, yeah. I absolutely... I, I don't know. I, I'm not... I will say I'm not religious, but I love religious yeah, comparison to like uh, yeah. media. I think it's really I, I think there's like so many different. I think it's good. Yeah. Like oh that. my god. Yeah. Like that's good. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I I, I love seeing like um, like just every religion like having yeah. comparisons. It's I love so watching cool. Every religion. Yeah. Get, like actually seen. Yeah. You know? This is why I need it's to read Berserk because I I saw. Oh, absolutely. I saw a comparison too where there, it was like um. There's a lot of Hindu religion later in Berserk. That's really. Yeah, it's really interesting. Dude, oh, hell yeah. I, I, like, did, like, a lot of, like, um, studies into a bunch of different religions because, I don't know, I was on, like, a quest, like, a couple years ago. I was like, yeah, I was, like let yeah, me I find out, let me find out if anyone's... I've been there. Yeah, like, if yeah. anyone's right, like, like, let me, let me see for if myself. If anyone's right, yeah, yeah. That, that's the question you, you want, you want, you want that answer. You're like, is anyone right? Yeah, because it's like, it's like, okay, I, me personally, I'm, I'm, a, so, like, there's atheists, obviously, but I'm, like, I'm a theist where I'm like, okay, they're probably like quantifiably, quantifiably, there probably is some sort of like greater force or power than us, but I don't necessarily know if it's a God or if it's something that we as humans could even comprehend. Yeah. And if you look through a lot of religions, it's just like most of them can be explained by like meditation. You reach certain higher states or like even like psychedelics or whatever, like you reach certain higher states, you see certain things and then you put it in a book or you put it, you tell other people like, oh, I saw God, I met God. Right. I mean, if you ask someone who had a DMT breakthrough today, they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, I, you know, I believe in whatever now," or like, like I saw, I you know taste. what I mean? <laughs> 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 oh my God! Holy shit! Um, um but yeah, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so, so like, but, but yeah, 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 yeah. So like, people, I don't know. I went on this quest and like, I learned a lot about a, di a lot of different religions, and a lot of different religions are saying the same shit, just got under a different guise. Like, one dude says the same thing that another dude did like 40 years yeah. in the future. Like, 40 years in the past, some dude said it, but he was like, oh, there's eight gods. And yeah. then another dude came by, and he's like, nah, fuck that. There's one god, and here's why he's right. Even I'm going to tell you it's the exact same shit that the other guy said, but yeah, I don't know. It's just interesting, interesting yeah. stuff. But I saw a comparison where it's like, you know how, like, biblically accurate angels are, like, horrifying? Like, they're these horrifying creatures, and then demons are, like, beautiful. And then, you know, yeah. there's the comparison where Griffith is, you know, beautiful. the beautiful yeah. demon, and then you have, you know... Beautiful feminine... Demon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you have, you know, fucking guts. Uh, <laughs> horrifying. Like, <laughs> like realistically horrifying if you're going up against them. Yeah. Like, so... It's, yeah, it's interesting. Can't Very wait for you uh, to get through that story. Yeah, I'm on a, page one. It's a controversial <laughs> story, I, I understand, but it's... I, I, it's really near and dear to my heart. I really love that. I really yeah. love Berserk. It's a great story. Yeah. Well, what what about Berserk is like, what what's like the wow factor for you? Because like obviously I haven't started yet, but I don't really like 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 what what is it? What is it for you that makes it really good? You know. For me, when I, uh, I it, it's kind of like a similar thing uh, I have with Akira. When I first discovered Berserk, it was on um, the '90s anime, mm. and. Um, Funny enough, I had like one of the most iconic scenes like spoiled for me, and that was like I need to be, I need to find out what this is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> then I went on that insane reading journey, like so many ups and downs. Like the the art for sure is like it. For sometimes it is like you're looking at like a religious mural. So it really is. Really? I truly believe that. Yeah. There oh are my some, god. Some panels truly took my breath away, and I was just staring at it for minutes because you just appreciate the craftsmanship. Yeah. Um, the story, I, I have a, I definitely have like a connection to like um, a type of abuse that the story portrays, and I think it handles it better than even like some American stories. So like, mm -hmm. I really uh, relate deeply to some of that stuff, and um, yeah, I, I just think it's very well handled story there, there i mean there there are complaints to be had about it for sh sure but yeah. overall it is like that is like a very good condensed story gotcha even if it's not finished which is unfortunate it has some of the best arcs i've ever read 
I definitely need to definitely need to go ahead and get that red, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, damn. Yeah. Um. I love. I mean, I love reading. Yeah. Uh, outside of uh, manga, yeah. of course. I um. That, that, that's one of the strongest stories I've ever read. It really, really, really resonated with me. Hell yeah! I I've never really like read manga like that until JJK. Yeah. And then now I'm getting into Berserk next because I really do want to read that. Like, really. I, yeah. I've, I've been kind of, like, more into, like, regular books, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just, like, a regular, no pictures kind of book. Yeah, just, like, a um, simple novel. Yeah, I, this this is, like, gonna sound stupid as fuck, but, like, I genuinely, I read, uh, I don't know if you know the Aragon series. I do. Yeah, with the dragons and shit. I never. I, I read that as the covers, but like I never, I yeah. never read them. Dude, I love dragons so much, and I loved that story so much. Like I, uh, oh my fucking god! Like I read this as an adult, by the way. Like com- I, I still haven't finished it because I mean, I'm I would, scared I would to hope finish you it. Did because yeah. those are big ass books. Oh yeah, they're, they're huge. Thick. Yeah, and I, How many I there? still haven't finished it. Uh, I think four. Okay. Yeah. So which one I'm on read? the last book. Oh okay. I'm on it, but I haven't. I. I can't bring myself to do it because I don't want it to end. Because, like, God, and, like, I don't know. It's, I heard the movie, I, didn't, I haven't watched it, but I've heard it's dog I've shit. It's dog and it shit. ruins the whole, like, story if you watch it. So I was like, all right, I'm just not going to watch the movie. But, like, I also, I don't know. Something, something's stopping me from finishing it. I'm just like, I really don't want this it, to, like, ever yeah, end. Yeah, it's, like. <laughs> Ethan had this sort of thing with Adventure Time where, like, he, I think he was on, like, the last, like, episode and he just didn't want to watch it because he just didn't want it to ever end. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of had that with, like, um, man, I probably, I'd probably say, like, Marvel if I'm being real. Really? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if, like, because I, I like the comics. I'm like, gotcha. I grew up with the comics. I'm not talking about the movies. Yeah, I'm yeah. About the comics. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I think the comics are fucking awesome. I yeah. just don't. I haven't like read any of them. I've I've literally just like watched the movies and then I like, I'll see like bits and pieces of the comics online yeah. and I'm like, oh, that's fucking awesome. Yeah. Like it's cool. Like I just saw um today, it was like King Thanos. Ripping, yeah. ripping fucking Tony Stark in half, and yeah. you see his spine, and like I was just like. Holy fuck. Like, we would never see that in a fucking... I, like, I, I know. All the cool stuff happens in the comics. Yeah. I was like, holy... Sh-. Like, King Thanos, he wins. Everyone fucking dies. No one lives. Like, what are we it's talking cool. about? It's, it's so cool. Like, what are we doing here? And, it's so awesome. And if that, like, ever ended, I'd be like, damn. We're not going to get any more, like, Spider-Man stories, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'd exactly. Oh, my God. If we didn't, oh if we didn't more Peter yeah. Parker and Miles Morales, like, ima- imagine if we never got the third Spider-Verse movie. Dude, I would cry. I'd cry. I'd, I'd actually cry. Oh, my God. Spider-Verse talking, uh, speaking of. Oh, my God. Spider-Verse, okay, second One movie. Of the greatest human Second movie, I think, some people said it wasn't as strong as the first, but I, I think, think it's it was, about, it's on I, I'd say it's on par, yeah. yeah. 100%. I, really, I saw it twice and I loved it. Dude, me too. Yeah, I, I, love I, I loved shit. that shit, dude. I love I love the fact that there was like different versions in theaters. I love the fact that like you I don't know, it's just like every time you watch one of them because of how quality the animation yeah. is and how much time like they spent yeah, they, crafting they respect it. The source. You see something new every single fucking time yeah. you watch it. Even with the original Spider-Verse. It's like you yeah, just see something new in the background. The ori- you see like I love a new the original Spider-Verse. Dude, so much. yes. Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. Dude, I I I want to steal the art style so bad, but there's so many that you can't. I know. No. <laughs> it's so fucking there's, awesome, there's so dude. So many like beautiful things to look at in that Yeah. One. Oh my god. And and like maybe this is what you're talking about with like the uh Berserk shit where it's yeah. like sometimes you're just kind of like encapsulated in it. Yeah. Um this is like completely unrelated but it's just like speaking of like beauty of shit like so like have you ever had like a moment in a video game where you just stop and you just like yeah. look around Bioshock dude that, that's a good yeah that's a good um, one for that Bioshock uh, 1 and Infinite really yeah I've, I've only ever played Infinite Infinite uh, what do you think of Infinite I thought it was good I thought it was good too yeah I, really I, I like never Infinite. beat it I don't think I, I played it like on and off and yeah. just kind of stopped yeah, I was the same way for a while. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a really big fan of the first one. I think the second one's pretty okay. Yeah. It's a fun one to play. I think I played Bioshock too, like at my cousin's house. No, it's a good one. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think the first two are had the best atmosphere. Really, I think being in an underwater city. Oh yeah, it's cool. Is freaky, as dude. Hell. It's cool and it's yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's people drugged out trying to kill you. Like, big, and it's like, where do you go? Big daddies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 what do you what do? The fuck. Yeah. <laughs> You're, fuck playing is the, going you're playing on. the game, and the what the like, fuck is going on? <laughs> there's a little girl walking around, and then you hear like the, and you're just like, oh my fucking god, I have to fight that, and it, it's such a, oh my god, it, 
that game, I, I still love Bioshock. I yeah. still, uh, I, that's such a great story. Yeah. Great that, um, I had that moment, though, um, twice this week. I played the Elden Ring DLC. Oh, yeah? And I was, like, I was on the plateau or whatever, and I looked across, and you see this flying castle off in the distance. And it's just, like, I just had to stop and just take it in. And then, you know, obviously a fucking, Especially one of the, uh, dude, yes, yes. And uh, one of the, you know, the fucking... Crucible Knights pulled up on me while I was... It was, it was so fun. I was sitting there for, like, five minutes, probably. It's where that big-ass, like, fire giant is shooting shit across yeah. the, like, like broken bridge or whatever. And I'm like, wow, this is so beautiful. Like, this is so awesome. And then the music comes in, and you're like, wow. And then I just hear behind me... And I'm just like, huh? It sounds kind of gay, but, like, whenever you're, like... Do you ever, like, stand at, like, a cliffside in Elden Ring, and you're, like... You're, like so immersed in the game, you feel like you are the character, and you're like, <sighs> and you're like you, you imagine yourself looking over the cliff, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I must go fight. This is this is why I always I tr- play Fashion I Souls. I truly immerse myself when I play Elden Ring. Dude. In, like, any of the Souls games. Any of the I Souls games. I love those games so much. Oh my god, Bloodborne is, I did that a lot. Serious? Yeah. Yeah, I love Bloodborne. And, like, especially the tail ah, end of the game, cause. when all, like, the crazy shit yeah. starts happening. Or some say cousin. You know, I still have to beat the final boss. You do? Yeah. I love the final boss. I almost yeah. don't want to do it because I love the fight so much. Really? I really do. That's another it's thing that favorite, we... You, it's my favorite fight of the game. Yeah, dude, it's, it's another thing that we, you know, you haven't ended because yeah. you don't want it to. It, it's, There's, yeah, that, that, dude. It, have, you, have you played the DLC? My relationship with... No, I haven't. My relationship oh my God, with you Bloodborne need to. is so funny. Dude. Because I've been telling Eric, it's like, I don't know, it's like the weakest of the Souls games. But I've also been like, I don't want to finish it. Because it is, it's yeah. so much fun, you know? Yeah, dude, I, I love I, it. I love Elden, I, uh, Elden Ring. I love Bloodborne. Yeah. I, it's, I think it is like... Yeah, I'd say, I'd, say it's, it's, I'd say it, it might be my favorite lore. I, I, That's I, I why love, I love that game. I love, it's lo- the I love lore. Lovecraftian. It's the lore. I love like, the aesthetic it, it's doing. Dude. I love like, all the voice acting. Bleak. It's, it's a great game. Bleak. It's, it's, sad. Miserable. And it's a shame. I love that shit. It is, it's a fucking shame that it is stuck on the PS4. And it's 30 FPS. We need the 60 FPS re- yeah, remaster. Yeah, they can even like, like, at please. least upgrade it for PS5. Please. Yes, exactly. Like, like Bloodborne 2 or a remaster, we need... I'll take, I will take just the same game, Bro. 60 FPS, the same graphics, same when, everything. Yeah. Just 60 FPS, please. Do you remember when Kai Senat streamed Bloodborne? And everyone was like, yeah. it's, gonna get, it's gonna bring us Bloodborne BC. Yeah. It's not going to. Where is it? It's not gonna happen, guys. I want it to happen so fucking PlayStation bad. going PlayStation. It's not gonna happen. Sorry. It makes me so sad. I yeah. really, I really want Bloodborne on PC. Honestly, I, I want Bloodborne anywhere where I can play at 60 FPS. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. it. I, I just want to be able to play at 60 FPS because I feel like it would just, it would just add that. Ooh, you know what I mean? I do have nostalgia for the 30 FPS because I played Dark Souls 3 on the Xbox One. Oh like really? My, like the, uh, like the day one Xbox One. So uh, it was like pretty fucking choppy. Yeah. When, uh, uh, Dude, I enough. still have I still have one of the original PS4s fucking chugging along in Ooh. my house. Dude, that thing sounds like a fucking jet engine. You turn that thing on, you think you know you think it's you're gonna take off. Low. Oh yeah. I love the PS4. Oh yeah. It, it's still chugging. Fuck the um, X-Bone, bro. PS4. For the life. X-Bone. Fuck the X-Bone. We uh, me, Eric, and Joe, and like Kyle all got PS4s during the yeah. pandemic. We're like, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah. That's so fire. It was so great. Yeah, I got old reliable at home. Hell yeah. yeah. She's almost gone down a couple times, but we saved her. You, have a P- you don't have a PS5, right? Nah. I, I, I'm, I was just like, I'd rather just buy a PC. Yeah. Like, I, I'm just, I'm just, why even buy a PS5? Yeah, I'm the like, same. Like, hey, like, if they, like, I'm telling you though, Demon if they do. Demon Souls is like the one Demon reason. Souls, Demon Souls, and then if I get, I'm telling you, the second I see Bloodborne 2, Bloodborne Remastered, PS5 exclusive, you got me. You got me. I'm Sony. spending five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Actually, are you no, no, no. Sony. I'm gonna spend a thousand sixty dollars. What is a thousand sixty dollars in total? You did don't you, know what did, I'm gonna buy. Did you get the uh, the collector's edition for Elden Ring where you get the cool ass helmet? I did not. You should have. Yeah. That would have been so awesome. I got with your I got Elden Renaissance Ring Festival. on launch only because that's another thing we should talk about. You should. Uh, oh, the Renfest. Put the picture up of uh of Zion's like unfinished. Uh, are you doing a druid outfit? Is yeah, that what you're doing? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll definitely put a, put a photo of uh Zion's epic druid outfit. Yeah, it's not um. Holy shit! Are those antlers real? Oh. Oh. Did you kill a deer for those antlers? Don't tell anyone. I didn't kill a deer. Okay, I'm a druid. I would never. 
but sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the community. So, oh. yeah, I'm not saving face. I'm just being honest. But yeah, <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I love going to the Rimfest. Um, that's another like very very. I don't know. I don't know. It's just fun for me because I'm I'm a really big nerd. And I like doing like I don't know. Costumes are fire too. Exactly. I like being I like being a little weirdo. When uh, um, when, when Zara saw you, um, I I mean I I won't say I, I don't want to like out you or anything, but like no, you can. That, that was like the first time like Zion had like dressed up as like with like all the makeup because like she usually never wore makeup at that time. Oh yeah, no, I was so, I was so I was my, saving my, face hard at the time. My my my, my, <laughs> girl, my girlfriend was like a. Uh, Oh my god, that's Zion. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she was like, she's thick. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Zara. <laughs> so Shout funny. out, Zara. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, um, that was just really funny. No, I yeah. That was funny. But yeah, you always. Uh, I, mean, I, I, I always do think it's funny that I came out at the, like, basically came out at the Ren Fest. It was, it was like, great. Yeah, like, because I was like, I was like, well, if there's a time for me to come out for something that I'm embarrassed or ashamed of, it's now. <laughs> and I'm no longer embarrassed or ashamed, except for sometimes. Felt like the most seamless thing to me, honestly. Yeah, yeah, it, a it, seamless it, it transmission. Feels... <laughs> well, well, I mean, uh, I, I guess, I guess, like from our perspective, it's very like natural. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, I, me, me, and Eric have talked about it. it's like I don't know, it's just whatever, you know. Yeah, it, it's yeah. not hard to comprehend. Yeah, you know. I um I need to get more eyelashes like the ones that I had though because they I, there's they were these white eyelashes they were like gojos. Um, <laughs> I, that's a really funny story. Um, I I canceled my Planet Fitness membership mm -hmm. with Zara and um I went to the you know the one that's on like Beck Road. Yeah. Um, I, that that's where we usually went and uh, I was like oh, I'd like to cancel my membership and they were like. Oh, why are you doing that? And I was like, I'm moving to Australia. And, they, and the guy looked at me and he goes, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> Zara, Zara, Zara had no idea what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. So he was like, he was like, all right, man. Well, it's all canceled. I, I didn't have to pay a fee or anything, I guess. Oh. So, so I was like, all right. Nice. And so Zara was like, well, I can't go to that one ever again because now they think I'm going to go to Australia because <laughs> like, like, you can have like a guest pass or whatever to yeah. play fitness. But, uh, that was That's funny. so funny. Poor guy she, should just, she should just keep going and then like be like, oh yeah. I left him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I let him go. I said uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, you got you to gotta show up with like sunglasses on. <laughs> and then like... <laughs> mustache? Yeah. yeah like, oh. I shave off my mustache and put on a fake mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then you'll be like, oh, yeah, I know. I don't know. It's like my cousin. I don't know. It's my cousin. Nevin. <laughs> my cousin John. Sorry. <laughs> His name was Evan on file, but okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I think we should play more We should play more uh, content warning. Uh, we should play Fortnite Horror Map. Bro. <laughs> I saw your clip Dude, on the story. Dude, okay. Let me tell I, you. I was actually getting into Fortnite for a different reason. Really? Uh, you first, you first. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to share with the class. <laughs> share um, with the class. So, <laughs> we, um, Thomas, Joe, and I, were playing just a bunch of different Fortnite horror maps. And when I tell you, they are all the same game. Yeah. Every single one of them is scavenger hunt. <laughs> yeah, and, and, like, platformer. And that's it. And the, you have the shittiest jump scares, but it's so funny. <laughs> like, it is the funny, it is straight comedy. Like, it is pure comedy. I can imagine, because, like, the game's designed for, like, kids. Yeah, yeah. And, and, like, the engine they have is, like, the same as, like, Roblox. Yeah. But, like, worse than Roblox. Yeah. So it's, like, even worse to work with. And so, like, the, we played this Jigsaw one, and Jigsaw runs down the hallway. <laughs> But he's like his his animation's slow, but he moves quick. Like his body moves quick, but his animation is slow. So it's just the funniest shit ever. And then when he jump scares you, it always lets out that stupid ass laugh. And oh my god, I hated that shit so much. It was so fun though. I, yeah. I don't I'm not gonna lie, that shit was really fun. We have to play that. Oh yeah, we have, to, we have to play that on stream. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, there's and there's I'm tons of them. To play like custom Fortnite games. Oh absolutely. That sounds like I always. Oh, love that type and of then stuff. we played one. The last one we played was called Escape from Queso. What? And it had Queso like. Like custom voice lines from KSO. Like from him? Like actual Yeah, voice? yeah, yeah. That's Cause so and then cool. like I don't know if it's actually like true because, you know, with AI it could be fake. Yeah. But like fucking the the creator was called like 
queso games or some shit like that. So like, I don't know. We'll see. But that shit was uh that shit was very very that was like the best quality one I've ever seen. It was like actually like dark and shit. And like the queso model was horrifying. It was it was <laughs> actually horrifying. Funny, Dude, like you would hear like I would you would like turn around, it's just pitch black on this hallway. You take out a flashlight, it's barely lighting it up, and then you just hear do 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 do. What do you mean I'm built like a one by one Lego piece? And then he just fucking he swings on you and then you get jump scared. It's horrifying. But yeah, uh why, what's your reason for playing Fortnite? <laughs> Pretty simple. Oh god. Um me and uh me and Ethan were like uh we're like talking about it for a second. He was like, oh, they're adding Doctor Doom to Fortnite, <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, we gotta play Fortnite now. And we both bought the season pass. Really? <laughs> and, I, and I was like listing off all the like Marvel characters that they added. And I was like, dude, they added Emma Frost, Gwenpool, Mysterio, <laughs> Shuri. I was like, this is a dope ass battle pass. And they haven't even like announced Doctor Doom's full thing yet. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's and, so uh, fire. They're still hyped for the battle pass these days, y'all. I, I am hyped for this one. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not hyped for like many of them. It's like they have to be like. It's got to be specific. Yeah, know? it's got to be something good. It has to be like yeah. Like, yeah. Doctor Doom is always something good. Yeah. If if the jam like the, the festival season this time is like MF Doom. Oh my God! Yeah, Fortnite that'd be fire. Fortnite can get so much fucking money. Oh my God! Yeah. Speaking of which, if they don't start that fucking like Doom movie with MF Doom. I know. I will be so disappointed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, I have a regret from Fortnite too. This is really, really sad. You're um, sad you never bought the Renegade Raider. No, I, I never got Black Knight in season two. Wow. Yeah. Years, years, years down the line, I'm looking through my Fortnite skins the other day while we're playing, and I'm like, wait a minute. I never got to Black Knight. I did all of the season two battle pass besides the last two tiers. And then I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. Me being a sophomore or whatever in high school, I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. Man, Fortnite. It matters. Yeah, it does matter. I want Black Knight. I wear Sparkle Specialist, yeah, but I want Black Knight. Do you have the uh, the fresh emote? That's I do. Like the Carlton? I have the Carlton. That's like the rarest emote in the game. Really? I that, bought that when it first came out. It hasn't been added since. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's the rarest emote in the game. I have it too. I, I, didn't, I didn't know either. I was like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like sold some of my emotes because they were like super gay. <laughs> it was like it was like super gay. And I was like, I was like, all right, I'm gay, but like this is really gay. Like if I use this emote, like, I don't know. Uh, was it like the uh There's like the the one that's like love heart. You do some real zesty shit with that emote, man. You're like shaking your hips. You're doing like the H O T T O G O. You didn't keep Oh, speaking shit. speaking of H O T T O G O, let's talk about Chapel Rones Bush. Well, I think um, I think that we've said enough. Um, Do you think it's bushy? I, we were talking about this, you know, before the before I, the cameras turned on. You, you were telling me how like you think you think yeah. Uh, I what, didn't what, say that. I didn't say the, that. Uh, Jaden, 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 come what, here. What was the expression you used? The the drapes match the curtains. That's what Jaden said. Jaden, Jaden, Fung, and, and I. What do you want right. to know about Chapel Rowan? Cool. Uh. I believe it's Dave Chappelle Rowan. <laughs> Dave Chappelle Rowan. <laughs> Isn't that the woman who got a bush? I think he said a specific term. Uh, you said the what matches the what? <laughs> I just know the cape. <laughs> I just know the carpet matches the drapes, man. Come on. The carpet matches the drapes. There it is. There we go. There it is. That's Thank what, you, America. That's what Jaden said. You know, this is this is this is this is what true uh, free speech is, right there. It wasn't a diss or anything. Hey, it's not. It's not a diss. It's not a diss. Hey, you know hey. What, lady. Long hair don't care. Chapel, I bet. Chapel, I bet that thing is banging. Um, Fire. Oh my God. Hey. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey. Um, hey guys, so our I, cameras are dead. All we've recorded us. way too much footage today. Way too that's much. How much. That's how much we've recorded. Our cameras that, are we dead. We care about you. We've ran through so many batteries. We, yeah. Yeah, we love you guys. Yeah, we love you guys so much that I ate the batteries. Yeah, so I'm, we're, we're, we have to say it to the audience. Um, Keep it bushy. Keep it greasy. And Sweet goodness! That is quite the outro. Keep it, T -T -O -G -O. keep it bushy and greasy. Keep it bushy and greasy.